afternoon to everyone that is joining in. Hallelujah. We do thank God for being able to be in this house. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord and welcome. On the behalf of our pastor, Supplicant Bishop C. Sean Tyson, thank you for joining us here at Calvary Ministry International Midweek Manor. Hallelujah. I'm Evangelist Monica Armour, and we would like for you to invite someone by hitting that share button. Remember to hit your share button. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bless God. We bless God today. Hallelujah. He's worthy. I said he's worthy. Hallelujah. I find no fault in him. Hallelujah. At this time, I'm going to uh, read. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, we give him all praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you got a praise for the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. I believe if we begin to praise him, because he said he inhabit the praise of his people. Hallelujah. So we praise him. Hallelujah. We lift him up. He said, if I be lifted up, I draw all men unto thee. Hallelujah. We're going to bless him today. We're going to give him praise because he woke us up this morning and he started us on our way. Hallelujah. He's given us life. He given us new mercies. He given us strength. He given us healing in our body. Hallelujah. Said we can attain mercy and find grace to help if we come boldly to the throne of grace. So we coming, Lord. Because we recognize that it's in your presence. Hallelujah. In your presence, there's fullness of joy. And whatever we need, we got it. It's our Boshama. If you believe you have everything that you need, hallelujah, let us shout hallelujah. 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 He has brought us this far, and we find no fault in him. Hallelujah. As our speaker has come in, our teacher for the day, we do thank him for under Shepherds of Smith. Amen. I am Evangelist Monica Armour, and we would like for you to invite someone by hitting the share button. We want you to hit that share button. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And at this time, I'm going to read the announcements. Um, it says, we're continuing to pray for the bereaved families. We're praying for the Wagner family in the loss of Bruce Wagner and also for Sister Ernestine Townsend in the loss of her cousin, Lamel Crystal. Also, remember Dr. Longmar and family in the loss of her niece. Amen. Let us remember the bereaved families. This evening, Bible class will be replayed at 7 o'clock p.m. on the YouTube channel. Thursday, December the 1st, our saturation, sad sanctuary prayer from 6 to 7 p.m. Yes. On Saturday, December the 3rd, the Northeast Region Christian Education Association Winter Christian Education Leadership Conference will be here at Mount Calvary at 12 o'clock noon, featuring Pastor Elder Pastor Tyson, Elder Craig, and Quinn Gilchrist, plus Deacon Timothy Pope. Dr. Constant Longmar is, Longmar is our present, excuse me. Amen. So remember those, those announcements, and at this time, we're going to receive our teacher for this afternoon, uh, Elder Under Shepherd. Uh, Smith, let us him, him come forth at this time. Let us greet him by saying, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everyone. I first of all give honor to the Lord Jesus Christ, who is the head of my life, Savior of my life, and I thank, I thank him continually for rearranging my life and blessing me to serve him. 
And because of the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, you are looking at a happy man. Thank you, Jesus. I give honor to our pastor, Pastor uh, C. Sean Tyson and his wife, Evangelist Krista Tyson, and all of the saints of the Royal Apostolic House of Mount Calvary Pentecostal Church. Amen. Glory to God. Give God and yourself, our pastor, a hand. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. We want to go into the lesson today, and uh, I got some good things for you, and then I got an assignment for you. Hallelujah. After we go through the word of God, I want you to turn with me to uh, Psalms 107. I always like to get something out of the Old Testament and then go into the New Testament because we live in this end time and we need to, our foundation is in the Old Testament and we believe in the scriptures of the Holy Word of God. Psalms 107, Elder Gilchrist, I wanted you to come right here, please, and bring your Bible, because I'm going to probably have you to read me something. Huh? So yeah, 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 let's come right up there in the front, right here in the third seat right there. And I know you can speak loud. Hallelujah. All right. Uh, let, let's, let me read this scripture first. I'm going to read, at, I'm going to start at verse number 31, Psalms 107, and I'm going to start at verse number 31. I'm going to read about four scriptures out of here, and you're going to be with me. Are you with me at Amen. Psalms 107, verse 31? Amen. It says, Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness. For his wonderful works to the children of men. Yes. Then we want to read verse number 21. It reads, Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works unto the children of men. Then, Verse number 15, I want to read that. Are you with me at 15? Amen. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness, for his wonderful works unto the children of men. Then I want you to read with me out loud verse number 8. Are you with me at verse 8? Amen. What does it say? Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness, for, for his wonderful works unto the children of men. Let us pray. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you, Lord God, and we praise you for your Old Testament testimony to the children of men. We thank you now, Lord God. And we plead your blood over our minds, our spirits, our souls, and our bodies. We submit ourselves unto thee in obedience. And then we resist the devil and all of his fallen angels. And they must flee from me and us in the name of Jesus. For we agree in spirit. Hallelujah. To give you thanksgiving, praise, and mercy for your goodness and for your wonderful works that you have shown and given to the children of men in Jesus Christ's name. Amen, amen. Uh, I was taught that when you teach or preach, your subject should be encapsulized in seven words or less try to always do that so oh that men would praise the Lord are you ready to praise the Lord that's seven words but now when I notice that one men is in italics so it wasn't in the original scripture so we still got tick six words oh <laughs> that would praise the Lord it don't say men there, but at the end of each one of them, it says men. 
we know that let everything that hath breath right. praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, so, and then God tells us even these inanimate objects going to praise him if you don't praise him. The rocks will cry out. Hallelujah. And I heard people say, I don't want no rock giving God praise for me. He took out the stony heart. Now he's given me a heart of flesh and I praise him because I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. So today I want you to think upon the subject, oh, oh that men would praise the Lord. Glory to God. Um, if you were here Sunday, we experienced on Sunday the dunamis power of God. Elder John Lee Oliver blew and blasted, lift up his voice like a trumpet. And Lord God, hallelujah, drove out the devil because the spirit of God came in and rested on me and upon you if you could receive it. Hallelujah. So that, that, that elder John Oliver preaches with the dunamis power. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Maybe I might be a little reserved. I want to teach you today about the exousia power. Right. That is the power <laughs> that's in the word of God. The authority right, right. in the word. That's what we're going to talk about. Yeah. Hallelujah. And you got to have the dunamis. Right. <laughs> they work together. I call, and he, you can ask him, I call Elder Flores the perfect law of liberty. Elder Flores is a Mahoney County Sheriff. And he can flash that badge on you with his exousia power and show you that. Right. That's the authority. The government of the uh, of my county of Mahoney is backing him up. Right. Now, if you don't want to listen to that, he's packing. They used to have 38s. I don't know if they got Glocks now, whatever they got, but he's packing. And that's the dunamis power if you don't want to listen to that badge and obey. He's got something. He's got power. I call him the perfect law of liberty. That's what I call him. So the saints of the most high God. Hallelujah. Oh, the Bible tells us that we got to operate in the perfect law of liberty. You, we got power and we got authority. We got dunamis power to blast away sin. And we got exousia power to speak the word of God. Hallelujah. How many of you are with me? And how do we do it? We give God praise. Hallelujah. You remember in the Old Testament, they, they, they just uh, 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 assigned praises and worshipers and let the choir go out. And the enemy got confused and turned on themselves. That's what we got to do with Ukraine attacking, uh, 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 Russia attacking the Ukraine. We got to lift up a praise. And I'm still going to do what I have to do. Sister Brogdon and I talked with about something. But anyway, let's go into this. Hallelujah. You got my setting. Huh? Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works unto the children of men. Mark, Pastor Mark Jackson was here, uh, was that Thursday? He made a powerful statement. When he made it, I wrote it down because I, I knew what he was speaking about. He says that life can be understand better looking backwards. But we can't live life going backwards. You got to live life going forward. We use our memory for the past. And we use our imagination for the future. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, uh, uh, ha, I think you're with me on that. Okay, let's go. Verse number one. We're going to exegese this. Ooh, I'm looking at my time. Uh, 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 that was just my little introduction to get us where we're going. Yeah. Hallelujah. Now, you remember the perfect law of liberty. That's where God wants you to operate in, in the perfect law of liberty. Yeah. We have read the scripture backwards. Oh, that men would praise the Lord until we got to the four scriptures telling us to do the same thing, and we're going to do it. Now, let's go exegese 
verse number one and go forward. Psalms 107, it says, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Yes. From now on, always, forever. Yes. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy. Glory to God. Uh, part of your assignment is to go, go back in your memory and, and, and see where God has delivered you from. You are the redeemed of the Lord, and I know I am. Yeah. Hallelujah. He redeemed me. I can remember back in the 60s. Mm -hmm. I was at home getting ready to uh, go out uh, uh, to a dance, and, and I was living in Warren, and I, my buddies came by, and they, they had told me, man, we got so high that we went to Hawaii and was surfboard and elder. That's what they told me. And I didn't use no drugs and nothing. I just needed a little beer or something, you know, a little shot to this, and, you know, just have a good time, you know. But I said, let me try some of that. So I said, leave it behind the garbage can. I was at my dad's house and, and, and putting on my tailor-made suit and, and getting ready to get in my car. So I left there and went and got me a six pack oh lord jesus and then i hit a little bit of that stuff but instead of going to hawaii i went to hell mm -hmm. in my wide open imagine in my mind hallelujah and i was working at general motors and at general motors they had conveyor belts pulling cars pulling car automobile parts all over the uh, uh, all over the building, you could hear the ring and ring and ring and the ringing of the the chains pulling. But when I got that stuff in me, I saw men and women on a conveyor belt, chained to it, being pulled over into the pit of hell. That's what I seen. I didn't go to Hawaii like they said they did, but I was being so I didn't. But then all of a sudden it stopped broke. God was showing me that is not for you. All right. And been high like that since. Glory to God. But you know what? Jesus is the most high. Yeah. Yeah. Higher than beer. Higher than wine, whiskey, yeah. uh, marijuana stick, crack cocaine, all of that mess. Jesus is the most high. That's what the Bible says. And I found that out. And therefore I praise him. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness. Yes, yeah, sister. And his wonderful works unto the children of men. Condrich, Rich Bird Smith. Glory to God. My testimony. Then verse 3, it says, gather them out of the land from the east, the west, the north, and the south. Everybody come. Hallelujah. Isaiah 2 and says, Isaiah 2 and 2 says that the mountain of the Lord shall be established in the top of the mountain and shall be exalted above all the hills and all nations shall flow unto it from the east, the west, the south, and the north. You've got to come here to this mountain called Zion. Yes. Hallelujah. Verse 4, they wandered in the wilderness in a solitary way. They found no city to dwell in. Ha. But when I got saved, I found out, Elder, ye are the light of the world, a city set on a hill ha, that cannot be moved. I'm, this, I'm the mayor. I'm the garbage collector. I'm the garbage get rid of her. Uh, they say I'll be making up words. But anyway, uh, everything, the city council, right. here it is, right here, it's right. in you. Because God is in you. And if you read uh, 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 Ezekiel, it's not coming to me right now. I got it here somewhere. Anyway, it's talking about Jehovah Shammah. The Lord is there. Jehovah Shammah means the Lord is there. And when you read that scripture, it says, from that day, the city shall be named 
Jehovah Shammah, the Lord is there. You are that city that got saved and he redeemed you out. Mm -hmm. And so now you are the city and Jehovah Shammah is in you. That's the word. That's the word. That's the word. Hallelujah. And then, okay, hungry and thirsty, their souls fainted in them. My God, my soul was about to faint that night, boy, but I'm, I'm so glad God delivered me out of that situation. My yeah. wife was with me. I ran into her later on that evening, and, and that stuff was coming down on me at that time. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hungry and thirsty, their souls fainted in them. You see, Psalms 42 and verse number uh, 7 says, Deep calleth unto deep. There is a deep, deep place in the, every man that is nothing and no thing, no drug, no man, no woman, no new house, no new car can satisfy you. Amen. That deep, deep place. Hallelujah. So folk was using drugs back in the 70s, trying to, just leaving home. But folk that had uh, uh, good parents and, and rich folk and going, getting in communions, getting high on weed and, 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 and just leaving. Some doctors and some lawyers and just forsaking everything, going to California. I asked my friend, why did you go to California? I said, why'd you want to go to California? I had a job. They was doing all kind of stuff. And I said, uh, y'all, 24 hours a day. I said, I go to work at eight hours. I can go home. Y'all, 24 hours a day. 20. He said he heard the mamas and the papas singing California Dream. Now, glory to God. <laughs> yeah, you better dream in yourself and have some dreams in your imagination. Hallelujah. That God will help you accomplish if you can find it in the word of God. He'll help you. He's going to help us. And I'm going to show you how. Hallelujah. Uh, 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 hungry and thirsty, their souls fainted in them. Verse number six. Then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. And he delivered them out of their trouble distresses plural yeah. uh, almost every every almost every uh, uh, um, eulogy that I do elder uh, you've been with me in a few mm -hmm. I, I go to second Corinthians 8 verse second Corinthians 4 and verse number eight you don't have to go there but in there Paul tells us about the trouble that we have in life. The Bible says in Job that man that is born of a woman is of a few days and those days are full of trouble. But what we got to do is go to uh, uh, 2 Corinthians 4. It says troubled on every side. You got all this trouble. Troubled on every side. Anybody got any trouble? Oh, yeah. Glory to God. Trouble on every side. Then he says yet not distressed. Yeah. Then he says perplexed. Have you ever been perplexed? You see, the games people play just ain't right. They just do this and they do that. And my, 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 it's not making good common sense. Hallelujah. Perplexity will come, but you can't let perplexity go over into despair. They, 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 the man went to the, to the club the other night, started shooting people. They beat him to fare ye well. But anyway... Uh, uh, he went in there and shot those people to death. Now, I wonder if he's thinking now he's going to go to jail for the rest of his life. Ooh, if he's going to think now, and I hope he gets repentance. I pray that he get repentance. He get repentance, he can get saved. Uh, 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 thank you, Jesus. But now he's got to sit down and think. He's going to take the law in his hand and do all that. The man up there in Buffalo that shot all those people. Right. Wow. You know, they were black people, so he went in there and shot them. And then you got black people shooting black people. He, 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 do you, this is not right where we're at now. We're in the last days. Yes, yes. But I got something for you. I got good news. Oh, that men would, for his goodness, 
and for his wonderful works unto the children of men. Me, you. Let's praise God right now. Hallelujah. 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 Glory. So, so, so you got to draw a line between trouble, perplexity, persecuted. I was born in Crenshaw County, Alabama, behind the iron curtain of Jim Crow, prejudice, and all that stuff. Mm, 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 persecuted. Glory to God. I can tell you some stories. Cast down. <laughs> but the Bible says in Proverbs 24, 16, the just man falleth seven times. I don't care if he fall by himself, slip on the ice, or somebody knock him down. He keep getting up. Yeah. Hallelujah. And when he gets up, he's going to say, thank you, Jesus. Yeah. He's going to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. Let me move on. So we got to draw the line between trouble and distress, perplexity and despair, persecution and forsaken. I'm not forsaken because the Bible says I will never leave you nor forsake you. Glory to God. That's what the Bible says. And that's where I'm going to praise him for that. Hallelujah. Because he said he'll never forsake me. Yeah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We got to draw the line, not just a line in the sand, but we got to draw the blood line. Because I am in the blood line of Christ. I'm going to prove it to you a little bit later here. Verse number seven. And he led them forth by the right way <laughs> that they might go to a city of habitation. There it is. I already explained the city to you. Here's the city of habitation. And my habitation is Christ in me, the hope of glory. He's in me. Hallelujah. And I can prove it. I did it like the Bible says. I, want, I repented of my sins. I was water baptized in Jesus' name, filled with the Holy Ghost, speaking with other tongues. I had my Damascus Road uh, 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 experience like the Apostle Paul did. I got the dates. I got the times. And I got all of that in my memory. So I can pull it up and thank him. On September the 17th, after I, uh, I, I, I repented on my sins, uh, uh, April the 24th, 1974, got baptized in Jesus Christ's name. On June the 4th, 1974, got filled with the Holy Ghost on August 11th, 1974. And around about September the 17th, I was baptized with the fire in the Holy Ghost. The Spirit of God came up on me. I, I, I saw a light over my home and, and the voice inside me said go in the house and pray. Uh, we had just built a brand new home but we didn't have Jesus. I went in the house and began to pray and the God of glory stood in my room shoo, like fire and uh, fire and, uh, and light on my face and on my chest and I was speaking in other tongues as the spirit of God gave me utterance I was not persecuting the church but I was seeking God yeah. hallelujah my testimony can't nobody take it from me I got it glory to God hallelujah just like the Bible says is that what you said that's what I want you to say hallelujah uh, uh, uh. And he led them forth by the right way. Jeremiah says, I will give them one heart and one way. That's it. Hallelujah. So verse number eight, read that with me. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and his wonderful works unto the children of men. What's our subject today we're talking about? Hallelujah. I'm telling you, we got to praise him. Oh, my, I'm, I'm watching my time. Then it's verse number nine. Verse number nine. It says, for he satisfied the longing soul and filled the hungry soul with goodness. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness. Ha. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Mm, again, verse 42, Psalm 42 and verse number 7, deep calls on the deep. My hungry soul, I was hungry. I wanted a lift. I wanted a high. I wanted a something that was maybe different from what I was doing. But I was a sinner, and I needed the Lord Jesus Christ. All the things in the world couldn't satisfy me. Yeah. Huh. 
Uh, glory to God. Mm, mm, mm. I got more testimonies, but I'm going to move on. Mm. Verse number 10. Such as sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, being bound and afflicted, uh, be, being bound in afflictions and irons. That fell my name. But glory to God, they used to call me red, but I have an announcement to make, hallelujah, that red is dead and Condridge is alive to walk in the newness of life. And after 48 plus years, my newness is still brand new. No, ain't going to never get old. <laughs> oh, glory to God, my newness is still brand new. Elder, I want you to go to get Matthew 4.16. I think that's what I want. Yeah. Did I read that? Yeah. I, I, I want you to go to Matthew 4.16 and read that out loud for us. The mm. people which sat in darkness. Hey, glory to God. Condridge. Glory to God. Red. Well, that was red. Go ahead. Saw the great people light. that sat in darkness. Go ahead. Saw a great light. Saw a great light. And to them that sat in the region and shadow of death, and shadow of death light is sprung up. Light ah, is sprung up. Oh, glory to, oh God. glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Oh, on April the 24th, 1974, I remember just as well. I was on the west end of the plant at General Motors, and I got down on my knees. I was crying. I wasn't an a, a, a electrician at General Motors. I wasn't a, a millwright. I wasn't a foreman. I was the sweeper. I was the lowest paid man in the plant. Hallelujah. And I got down on my knees with tears in my eyes and said, Jesus, come and take me out of the dark. Lord. That was my prayer. Yes. And he redeemed me. <laughs> he redeemed me, hallelujah, and I can prove it <laughs> by the authority of the scriptures what happened to me going forward from that time. Yeah. Glory to God. And guess what? It's still happening to me now. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness yeah. and his wonderful works unto the children of men. Hallelujah. Brought me out of darkness into his marvelous light, set my feet on straight street, yes. and made everything all right. <laughs> He's done great things. Hallelujah. Uh, Apostle Paul was brought to straight street. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Listen, okay, where are we at? Verse 11. Let's go verse 11. Because they rebelled against the, uh, against the words of God, and contemn the counsel of the Most High. That's where I was. And if you think my assignment is going to be when you go back over this, I want you to read this again. And I want you to take these examples that I'm giving you. And I want you to put yourself right here in the scriptures. And then, oh, that men would praise the Lord. And look where he brought you from. Look where he brought you from. But the thing is, we use our memory for looking backwards, but we use our imagination for looking forward. Streets of gold, hallelujah, there won't be no need for a light for the Lord and the Lamb is the light of the city. Somebody say thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Let's go, saints. Let's go. Hallelujah. Okay. Let's go. Verse number 12. I'm watching my time. It's only 1232 right now. Glory to God. Take a deep breath. Ah, let it go. You just experienced the peace that passes all understanding. Glory. You know, he's going to come back and get that breath one day. 1946. August 20th, he breathed into me the breath of life. He's coming back to get that breath. That breath was just alone. See what you're going to do. Hallelujah. He's coming back to get that breath. Some folk 
got it last night. He got that breath today. Every day someone's going out of time into eternity. But while we are here, here in time, oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works unto the children of men. Okay? Verse 12. Okay, okay, let's, let's, let's go. Uh, let me see. Therefore he brought their hearts down with labor. And, and they fell down and there was none to help. When you find out there's nobody to help, like I found out, my wife couldn't help me, my children couldn't help me, my mama and daddy really couldn't help me. They told me, but hearsay just goes so far. I had the experience for myself and I called out on Jesus. And he's helped me. Hallelujah. Verse number 13. Then they cried unto the Lord in trouble. Hallelujah. I got, I'm telling you, you got, when you read it again, you're going to see your testimony. Right. And then you're going to be encouraged. Right. I promise you, you'll be encouraged. Okay. Then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble. And he saved them out of their distresses. Back to verse number six. We own 13. But you just go back and forth. Mark it in your Bible. I got it marked in my Bible. All this red in here. I got it marked in my Bible. I go back to, to, to verse 6 and draw the line again. When, when some more trouble comes, draw the line. What line am I drawing? The bloodline. I plead the blood of yeah. Jesus. I resist the devil and he's got to flee. Yeah. Hallelujah. Verse number 14. Okay. He brought them out of darkness and the shadow of death and break their bands asunder. Boom. Verse number 15. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works unto the children of men. Anybody see what I'm doing here? Oh, yeah. you, you got it? Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm elementary. I'm uh, 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 just, I stay with the simplicity of Christ. When we stay with the simplicity of Christ, we walk we live, we move in the authority, in the exousia power of God. Ah, I, I got a testimony. I'm, I'm going to stop and give this here. I dream. I dream. I dream a lot. And I had a dream about Elder Gerald Morgan. Y'all remember Elder Gerald Morgan? I know you know you do. You at Mount Calvary, you do. And... Uh, Anyway, I, I got to roll down here somewhere. I ain't going to take time to look it up. But I got, I got the date that I, I dreamed it. And Elder Morgan w appeared to me in my dream. Elder Cowery, Elder Bishop Wagner, I, I've talked to them. They've talked to me. I, I'm telling you, just like it is. And Elder Morgan was dressed real nice. You know, he was impeccable. And he said to me in the dream, the devil ain't got a chance. That's what he said to me. And shoo, I woke up, you know, whatever. But I'm telling you, oh, my, my, my. What verse was I at? I just stopped to give you that. Uh, 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 what verse? Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works unto the children of men. Verse number 16. For he hath broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron asunder. He loosed me. Hallelujah. Jesus said the gates of hell shall not prevail against the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's what he was saying. He, he broke that. Hallelujah. And then when he died on the cross, hallelujah, got up out the grave, went down into the lower parts of the earth. He went in there with the 24th division of song and he says, Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and the king of glory shall come in. He came in and he got Adam and Eve, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and all the Old Testament righteous people, brought them out of the hell, put them in a paradise above, and he told the thief on the cross, the day you will be with me in paradise. Ah. Uh, Ah, uh, anybody got anything you want to praise God for? I feel like praising him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Just think about your testimony and give him praise. Hallelujah. I promise you he's going to receive it. Hallelujah. The gates of hell shall not prevail against the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because the, 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 the bands that the adversary had on us has been broken according to the scriptures. Hallelujah. Then, it, then verse 16 says, fools. I told somebody one time, uh, <laughs> he's laughing off. That told, and somebody write a letter and say, dear fool. I said, that, that's my mail. <laughs> Glory to God. But thank you, Jesus. He can turn things around. Yes, he can. No more foolishness. You know, uh, uh, the Bible talks about the house of wisdom uh, that wisdom built. But in that same concourse of scriptures, you'll read about the house of folly. Folly built the house, mm -hmm. and wisdom has built the house. Well, I want to live in the house of wisdom. Yes. Hallelujah. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works unto the children of men. Verse 17, fools because of their transgressions and because of their iniquities are afflicted. Now, we don't have to really go far. We can just say, eat the wrong thing if you pass 50 years old. Nathan, God bless you. <laughs> Keep on living. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's the plan. But you can eat the wrong thing and you can afflict your own soul. How many of y'all know what I'm talking about? I, I, I got to finish, but I got testimonies. I try to eat healthy, eat good. My wife didn't want to cook the other day, so she, I went and got her a chicken salad sandwich. Oh, no, a chicken salad from Uptown Pizza with the chicken cut up in there and all your vegetables. Very good. Outstanding. I'm giving them a plug. And, and, and you eat that and get everything that you need and then go home and put some canned beets in there. You know. One or two jalapenos, burn everything on. But anyway, I, I, Elder Gilchrist, I went over to Sam's Club. And I used to go to New York City, didn't want to buy a steak, so I would get the tube steaks off the street. And I'd be happy. Get me in New Orleans, I'd get the uh, hot dogs. Uh, I remember I, we went in a restaurant one time, me and Bev. And they pulled out the menu and gave it to us. And I said, they prices, I don't need that. I got up and left. Went back out on the street, got a hot dog. But the other day, that's when I was 23, 20, like that. But the other day, I went to Sam's Club and got me one of those Nathan beef hot dogs, all beef. Love it, love it. Ate that joker. And woke up the next morning and looked like somebody had took the air pump and pumped my head up. <laughs> Glory to God. You can afflict your own self, but oh, that men would praise the Lord <laughs> for his goodness and for his wonderful works unto the children of men. You don't want to afflict yourself. Who hath woes? Who hath contention? They that tarry long at the wine. All of this other stuff. Wine, beer, all of that contentions. You tarry too long with that mess. Proverbs 23, 29. You got to read that sometime. You don't want to afflict yourself. Then verse 18. Their souls abhorred all manner of meat, and they drew near unto the gates of death. Uh, uh, they wanted the leeks and the onions, which will, are good for you. But anyway, verse 19. Then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble, mm -hmm. and he saved them out of their distresses, plural. So we got verse 5, verse 13, verse 14. Oh, oh, just go back. Just read and then go back. Reflect back your memory. The scripture right here is showing you how to do that. Reflect back in your memory. And this verse 19 reflects you all the way back to verse 5. It re reflects you back to verse 13. It reflects, reflects you back to verse uh, uh, 14. 14, 13, 5. We're talking about your distresses, things that you got your hard head into. Mama and them used to say, hard head, well, let's go. What's the next scripture? <clears throat> 
Uh, uh. Then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble. Thank you, Jesus, that you know who to cry to. Yes. And, the, and he saved them out of all this trouble. Listen, here, here. Uh, uh, I want you to get, Elder, from me. What scripture do I want you to get? Y'all know it anyway. I don't have it wrote down. But anyway, it, he says, he sent his word mm -hmm. and what? Heal them. When you cry unto the Lord, whatever your case is, you cry unto him, you give him thanksgiving, you give him praise, he'll send his word and heal you. That's the book. I'm standing on it. I'm standing on the exousia power of the word of God. I speak the word of God. We have to speak the word of God. He sent his word and healed him. My question to you is now, who is the word? Yeah, you said Jesus, Beverly. That's what, that's, that's what I wanted to hear y'all say. Jesus, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word, and the word became flesh and dwelt among us. All those times when you read your word and you hear and you read and see and understand you got to read it, you got to see it, you got to hear it, then you got to understand it, then you have to say it. It works when you say it. When you read all of those times when the Bible says, and the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah, the word of the Lord came to Isaiah, the word of the Lord came to Condrich and told him to repent. That was Jesus because he's the word. Can you say amen? amen. So uh, he sent, he sends his word because he is the word and he goes. And when he hears you crying, uh, well, Hebrew talking about buetheo. He hears our cry. He hears our boo. Do like this. <sighs> Glory to God. We still got time. We breathing. Yeah. Glory to God. Uh, he sent his word and healed them. And delivered them from their destruction. Because if you stay in perplexity and, and, and distress, it, destruction is coming. So, But we got to stop that. And how do we stop it? Verse 21. Read verse 21. I'm going to give you another chance to read that or to say it. I didn't like the sound of that. Say it with me. Oh, that men would praise the Lord. Oh, that men would praise the Lord. That sounds better. <laughs> oh, glory to God. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works unto the children of men. Verse number 22. And he let them, and he let them sacrifice the sacrifices of thanksgiving and declare his works with rejoicing. Nehemiah 8 and 10, the joy of the Lord is your strength. I would have said, let me explain that to you. You read it. The joy of the Lord is your strength. We see people shouting, da, 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 and rejoicing, amen. But when we do the word of God, the joy is the Lord's. Right. The Lord is joyous, and he sends us strength, strength for the battle, yes. power for the way, strength for this distress, strength in your trouble. To keep you motivated and going forward. I explained it, uh, that to my daughter, my, our youngest daughter, years ago. And she said, I got it. That's what she said. I see it. The joy is the Lord. We're to make God joyous yeah. by doing his word and doing his work. Hallelujah. And he even says in Zephaniah, I started to have you read this, but I got to move. My time is going. 
uh, 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 he'll come down and joy with us and sing with us. That's what he said. And, and here at Mount Calvary, I'm telling you, I've experienced the Lord coming down and singing with us and, 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 and just rejoicing. We make him joyous and he gives us strength. The joy of the Lord make God happy. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and his wonderful works unto the children of men. I've dedicated myself to make God happy. In Jesus Christ's name, how about you? Do you want to make God happy? Let's offer him some praise right now. Hallelujah! I can remember coming here, receiving the Holy Ghost, and we on Sunday morning praying. I tried to holler loud as I could because, God, I want you to hear me. Yes. Woo! Glory to God. I'm serious about this here. Yes. I want to be saved. Yes. Glory to God. I know you do, too. Hallelujah. So where was I at? 21? Okay. Okay, let the sacrifices. Let them sacrifice the sacrifices of thanksgiving. Elder Gilchrist, uh, you, I, I, I'm, I'm going to let you go. Uh, Hosea 14 and verse 2, it says, So we render the calves of our lips. In the Old Testament, they took the goats and the bullocks, cut them, and, and, and poured the blood out on the altar, and they sacrificed. Hallelujah. All of that. Oh, uh, somebody said when they dedicated the temple, it, 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 all, the, all the sheep and the oxen and the things that they sacrificed, they said that it would, all that blood would cause Niagara Falls to flow for 57 seconds. You ever been to my Niagara Falls? Woo, 57 seconds, all of that, that's what they said. But some of that blood was being evaporated back up. Hallelujah for the Old Testament. But we got the blood of Jesus now yeah. that's been sprinkled on the mercy seat in heaven. It's propitiated God, and he has the right to come and to be with us. A former member of the human race, God himself. Yeah. Glory to God. Let me move. And then in the New Testament, it says in the book of Hebrews, we offer the fruit. Of our lips. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory to, God. Glory to God. That's the book. Hallelujah. Let's I could spend some time there. Uh, uh, uh. And let them sacrifice the sacrifices of thanksgiving and declare his works with rejoicing, with joy. We make God happy. He gives us strength. They, oh, yeah, yeah, here, here I'm tapping into the, the, the dunamis power of Elder John Oliver. I'm getting ready to tap into that right now. Glory to God. Y'all was here. How many was here Sunday? Y'all was here Sunday? Okay. If you wasn't, go listen to that Sunday's message. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to tap into Elder John Oliver into his dunamis power. We want to put some exousia power in there and take both of them and wrap them together. Yes. Hallelujah. Here, here, here. Let's tap in now. Verse 23. Are you with me? Read. They that go down to the sea in ships that do business in great waters. They that go down to the sea in ships do great do great business. <laughs> uh, great do business in great waters. Hallelujah. These see the works of the Lord and his wonders in the deep. Glory to God. Oh, I got to hurry up and get out of here. But listen, we, let me read some more here. For he commanded and raised the stormy wind. That's where John Oliver had us, in the storm. Glory to God. But the Bible says he, talking about God, he's the one that raised the wind. Hallelujah. And he lifted up the, water, the waves thereof. Jesus is the one. Because he's the word. He's God. He did all this. And we, how are we going to wake him up? 
Hallelujah, Jesus, we lift up. Oh, that men would praise the Lord. Lord, look upon us. Look upon us. Uh, in our distress, we got to wake him up. He's not asleep. Hallelujah. He neither slumbers or sleep. But when he was in his uh, humanity, he went to sleep. But they had to wake him up and say, pa, pa, uh, pa, uh, Pastor, I got ready to say, Master, uh, cares not that we perish. We ain't got to wake him up. He's back in his spiritual form. But all we got to do is praise him. Hallelujah. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works unto the children of men. We're on ship with him. We're, on, we, we, we're two fellows in a ship. If it ain't nobody but you and Jesus. At Lazarus, huh, if Jesus said, if two of you, two or three of you gather in my name and ask anything, it's already done in heaven. Yeah. Lazarus died and was in the grave, but Jesus and Lazarus agreed together. They only need two. And Jesus says, Lazarus, come forth. And boom, boom, boom. Up 13 steps, we've been to that grave site. Glory to God, where Lazarus came forth by the command of Jesus, just Lazarus and Jesus agreeing, and he got up out the grave. So, if, oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and his wonderful works unto the children of men. I believe God can do what you are desiring for him to do for you and your family. Let's move, let's move, let's move. Where am I at? Okay, down in the sea. Down in the stormy winds, we got we to gotta praise Jesus. He's not asleep. Hallelujah. That was in his humanity. He had dual nature. He had spiritual nature, and he had a, 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 a spiritual nature and a, a natural nature. Verse 26, they mount up to heaven. They go down again to the depths. Their soul is melted because of trouble. They reel to and fro and stagger like a drunk man and are at their wits end. Hallelujah. Look at it. We're at the end now. COVID and mass murders. Verse number 28. Then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble. Going back to all those scriptures that talk to you about crying in your trouble and in your distress. And he bring them out of their distresses. We didn't went over that. He maketh the storm to calm so that the ways thereof are still. Peace be still. You got to praise God and then you got to use the exousia power of the word and say peace be still. Hallelujah. Inflation. Hallelujah. All of this mass murder. Protect us, the church. Protect our family. Pray, saints. Pray. Hallelujah. That it come not nigh thy dwelling. Hallelujah. Then are they glad because they be quiet. Your troubles will be quiet. So he bringeth them unto their desired haven. My wife and I started a business and we call it Desired Haven. We started another uh, business and they call it Modest Apparel. Trying to teach young people how to dress. Glory to God. And hallelujah. Just having fun. Glory to God. Uh, and then it goes back into verse 31 where we started at. Hallelujah. What does it say? Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Verse 32, let them exalt him in the congregation of the people. Now that's where it needs to start at. That's where it needs to remain. That's where it needs to always be. When I come in here, I want to praise God. I want to lift him up. I want to magnify him. I want to tell him about my troubles. Hallelujah. And I'm confident with the word of God that he's going to help me. Listen, listen, listen. Verse 33. He turneth rivers into the wilderness and the well springs into dry ground. I took my family to Las Vegas and we had the runway show and all of that, da, da, da. But we went over to Hoover Dam. Lake Mead was way up. But now it's lower now than it has ever been in 1,200 years, according to CNN. CNN. Uh, uh, the, 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 the people that 
built beautiful homes and they're still now building homes right now out from Phoenix, about an hour out in the desert, call it a paradise. They got water out there, but the wells are dried up now. The book of God said it. They're dried up. Hallelujah. And listen, listen. And the, the truck delivery man told them in January the 1st, the city of Phoenix will not be bringing any more water out here. It's prophesied right here in the book of God. Beautiful homes. Uh, everything going right. Now, my wife told me today that in, uh, uh, the, uh, the interest rate went up again today. Uh, 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 the squeeze is on. But when you get squeezed, say, Hallelujah! I praise you, Jesus. Ah, oh, they're trying to bring distress on me. They're trying to put more trouble on me. But I look to you, Jesus, and I praise my way out of this by fighting the good fight of faith. I don't have to, oh, and God keep me from getting my gun. Hallelujah. Um, got testimony about that gun. Glory to God. Oh, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Where we at? Where we at? Where we at? Okay, okay, okay. Let's, let, 30 what? 34. 34. Okay. Uh, okay, yeah, right. Add a fruitful land into barrenness for the wickedness of them that dwell therein. Wickedness is in the land. And he's bringing this drought for, for that. And also they said out there that 50% of his uh, farmland, he can't even do anything with it. 50%. Now you take 50% off of what you make a, a month or a year. Mm -mm. Okay. Verse number 36. I got to skip. I got to stop. And there he maketh the hungry to dwell that they may prepare a city for habitation. Hungry, thirsty, after righteousness, and you will be filled and you will be that habitation for God to dwell in you, Christ in you, the hope of glory. Yes. And so, verse 37, and sow the fields and plant vineyards which may yield fruit of increase. That's what we want. We want the fruit of increase. Yes, he blesses them also so that they are multiplied greatly and suffereth not their cattle to decrease. Cattle, that's your capital. That's your money. In the Old Testament, they had farms and they had cattle, and that's how they had their money. Let's skip down to verse number 42. I got a lot I could say, but I got to go. The Verse 42 107, 42, the righteous shall see it. All this that I explained. And rejoice. Why? Because the joy of the Lord is your strength. And all iniquity shall stop her mouth. Then verse 43 says, whoso is wise and will observe these things in Psalms 107, even they shall understand the loving kindness of the Lord. Let us pray. Your assignment is to read this over. Go use your memory, then use your imagination to where you want to go. God has appointed huh, unto them in Zion huh, beauty for the ashes of your life, the oil of joy for mourning for distress and for trouble and the garments of praise for the spirit of heaviness right here in the word Psalms 107. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I thank you for uh, the psalmist and I pray in the name of Jesus that the joy of the Lord will rest upon Mount Calvary. Oh, Peter says we have toiled all night. We don't want to talk about what we have done. We have been here. We're waiting on you to build the city of God through us, the people of God, where men and women, boys and girls, can be trained in the spirit of holiness. 
in Jesus Christ's name. If you're here today and you want to be saved and you want to know how to praise the Lord, we got examples here in this house. If you need prayer, you can come. We'll be glad to pray for you. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Let's put our hands together and give God some praise. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm going to turn this over to Elder Gilchrist, but before I do, Sherry Brogdon, I want you to come and talk about Saturday in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Let's give God another praise. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and his wonderful works and to the children of men. God bless you. We thank God for that word that came on this afternoon. We give God praise. We just want, just before Elder Gilchrist comes, we want those of you who are listening to this through streaming to be reminded on Saturday that Calvary is hosting this Northeast Regional um, Christian Education Meeting. Um, Dr. Longmire is the regional president of, of that area, and we want to be here in full force, not only to serve, but to hear the word of God that's being taught. Now, that begins promptly at 12, and it ends at 3 o'clock. So we want to, again, host our guests that are coming this Saturday, that's December the 3rd, from 12 noon to 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Our, our brothers and sisters throughout this region will come to hear the Lord. Our pastor will be teaching, district, uh, district elder. Elder Gilchrist will be teaching, Sister Quinn will be teaching, and there's another deacon that will be teaching. I believe it's Deacon Pope that will be teaching. So we want to be present this Saturday. Elder Gilchrist is coming for the furtherance of this service. Oh, that men would praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, y'all can't help. Y'all got to help me here. Give God a great praise. Oh, magnify the Lord how? With me. And let who? Us exalt his name together. Come on, let's give God a great praise. Come on, you can do God better than that. Let's give him a great praise in the house. Certainly, indeed, God has been gracious to us and has blessed us this afternoon with this great word from on high. That's my Gamaliel over there. Elder Scondred Smith, he is my Gamaliel. I, 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 I lean on him heavily for what the world is lacking today, and that's called sound doctrine. I lean on him heavily for that because he is a man that is deep in the word of God. And I appreciate the, I appreciate, I, I'll say like I used to say to Bishop Norman Leonard Wagner, I want to know your God. I appreciate his God. And I think we're worshiping the same God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Is anybody else here worshiping the same God this afternoon? What's his name? Yeah. What's his name? Yeah. Glory to God. We bless his great name forever. We are not going to belabor the time. I think we are about ready to go into our re the reception of our offering. And... Uh, we have multiple ways that you can uh, give your offering this afternoon. And if you're online and you want to make contributions, uh, the list is coming up online where you can do use Cash App. You can use uh, Givelify. You can use, uh, well, for those of us who are here, here in person, uh, the uh, trustees are coming, deacons are coming by with envelopes if you want to use the old-fashioned way. And that's uh, either putting in your cash or your check. <laughs> uh, but it's a blessing to be able to give back to the Lord. It is a blessing to be able to give back to the Lord. And, and after this afternoon's lesson, oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and his and his multiple mercies unto the children 
of men. We have some reason to give unto God. And we used to sing a song, if you give unto the Lord, he will give you some more to give. So you cannot beat God given. I'm showing my age. That's an old one. Amen. Yes, ma'am. Oh, okay. <laughs> my wife is giving me the sign. <laughs> Amen. I'm not going to belabor the time, but we are appreciative to God for the man of God who has shared with us in the word this afternoon. And for our pastor in his absence, wherever he may be, we are continuing to pray for him and First Lady that the Lord will cover them, protect them, and return them to the house of God to minister unto we the people of God. If uh, all hearts and minds are full, we've heard the announcements. Let us rise so that we can be dismissed from this place.